In this video, I'm going to be talking about the impact of chlorine when it comes to water treatment. So, chlorine is often added to water so that you can kill bacteria, especially the bacteria which cause diseases. And it's often this ClO- ion which kills that, kills that bacteri bacteria. Now, I have two pictures here. I have a picture of cholera, which is one of the disease-causing microorganisms which has caused many, 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 many deaths in the world. And I have a picture of algae, and algae is like a a, 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 a a combination of different kinds of small, small microorganisms, and they basically collect on the surface of the water. You might be familiar with algae from maybe eutrophication or something like that. So what happens here is that algae actually smells kind of bad. It smells bad. And not only does it smell bad, it kind of tastes bad tastes bad and because it smells bad and tastes bad it's not really something you want to have in your mains water supply and cholera is something which kills people it doesn't always kill people but it, it often brings people very close to dying and oftentimes it can bring people to a point where they just you know die now algae tastes bad and it smells bad and what these chlorine ions, uh, chlor chlorate ions can do is they can eliminate these bad smells. So they can eliminate the bad smells and they can uh, eliminate the bad, the ba whoa, uh, yeah, they can eliminate the bad taste and they can eliminate the bad smells. And they can help less people get killed by cholera. Now, these ClO- ions this 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 application of the ClO minus ions leads to some good advantages. So first of all, I have a picture here of a cat taking a drink of some tap water. Now, if it wasn't for those ClO minus ions, uh, this cat would probably not be able to drink this water and survive for that long. So, it 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 makes safe water safe for drinking. Safe for drinking. safe for drinking and not only does it make it safe for drinking like it's doing for this cat over here but swimmers like 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 in this swimming pool which you can see here what the what the what the chlorine has done is it's prevented the growth of algae and so it smells good and it probably no actually i've tasted chlorine water. it doesn't taste that nice it doesn't really taste that good but 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 it's usually in low concentrations so yeah it tastes good for the cat for in this case yeah it just it just it just smells okay and doesn't kill him and so it's actually but it's safe it's safe so it's safe for, safe for swimming safe for swimming now these are some of the things which make it safe but there are some things which chlorine does which people are, are quite divided about and these are the disadvantages of chlorine use in water so some of the things which chlorine does which are kind of negative first of all chlorine is toxic it's toxic and as a as a consequence of this toxicity uh handling chlorine is very is very uh it's a tricky thing to do so if if there was a spill it would cause very severe chemical burns and um and often the, the fumes which chlorine produces chlorine gas can can irritate the uh, respiratory system irritation to respiratory system and not only that but chlorine is one of those chemical one of those um, chemicals which can actually react with some of the the compounds present in the uh, in the water like hydrocarbons uh, and or, uh, different organic substances and when it reacts with hydrocarbons often it produces something known as chlorinated hydrocarbons chlorinated hydrocarbons but do bear in mind that when sometimes when it does react with these organic um, organic substances it does it does removes a lot of the discoloration in the water which is a good thing 
But these chlorinated hydrocarbons, a lot of them are carcinogenic. Carcinogenic. And I'll explain what that means. Carcinogenic. And what carcinogenic means is these chlorinated hydrocarbons can cause cancer. Carcinogenic means it's a cancer causing. Cancer causing. Well, cancer causing. And so this is not a very good thing. And in fact, uh, over a decade ago, in around, around 1991, the government of Peru were notified of this risk which was involved in using chlorine in water. The fact that chlorinated hydrocarbons can cause cancer and they didn't really want to risk that. And since they didn't really want to risk that, what they did is they actually stopped adding chlorine to water. And well, if you don't add chlorine to water, if I go back to now to the benefits of, of water. So remember this cat, the chlorine made the water safe for, the, for this cat to drink. The chlorine made this water safe for this Olympic swimmer to swim in the water uh, by killing cholera and other bad diseases and bacteria. Well, uh, killing other bacteria which could cause diseases and preventing the growth of this algae. So since now we've stopped adding the, uh, the chlorine in the water in Peru, what happened was that this chlorine actually, I mean, the lack of chlorine caused outbreaks of cholera to be able to happen. So there was a cholera outbreak and it killed like like 10,000 people. So that's a lot of deaths, 10,000 people. And so then the Peruvian government basically realized, oh yeah, that's why we had chlorine in the water. And they basically after that just, just went back to putting chlorine in the water. I don't want to go, to, go on too much about this whole chlorine thing, but yeah, that's the main things I wanted to talk about in this video. And um, I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.